I wake up and point and flex my toes. You know when you do that so hard, you can feel it all the way up your legs and it feels good. I rub the sleep from my eyes. My fingers know exactly how to do away with the leftover makeup and gunk. When my eyes are open, they are clear and that feels good. I stretch my arms and arch my back and let out one of those singing yawns my mom always did that annoyed me so much. When did I start doing that? Now comes the harder part. I let my hands run over my belly and down across my hips, feeling the softness of my own skin, the bumps of my stretch marks, appreciating the last moment today that I will feel beautiful that I will feel good. Because look good, feel good, right? That's what they say. That's what you should tell yourself every single day. That's why you should wear those jeans that dig into that belly that just this morning was so soft and free, sort of feminine and vulnerable. So go in for the attack. In fact, smash it into shapewear and then into the jeans because the skin that holds the food that nourishes you, the skin that might hold your child one day, the skin that felt so safe and soft this morning is not good, they decided. They said it wasn't good, and look good, feel good. If I can make it through the day in this bra that digs into my ribs and leaves a deep red line across my back, I guess I will feel good. And my contacts are dry, and this drugstore eyeliner is sort of burning my eyes, and there are pins in my hair digging into my scalp to make it look like I just threw my hair up because God put some effort in, but Christ, don't try too hard. It's not that hard, it's just look good, feel. Good. The next morning I wake up and I point and flex my toes and I rub sleep from my eyes. Today I have to blow my nose. I stretch and arch my back. I let out a singing yawn and I don't look in the mirror and I feel good. And my hands make me breakfast. It's fucking amazing. Like honestly, how is bacon so good? My nose is clear now so I can smell the coffee and I hear myself bite into a piece of crunchy toast. And oh my God, that sound is so satisfying, not to mention the taste. And I can't believe that this is just regular ass food I can have any time that I want. And I laugh because that's funny and I feel good. I heard about a country somewhere far away where girls weren't anorexic till they saw US TV. And it's just like, what the fuck, you know? It's just like, oh my God. Maybe if I could feel good without looking good as a prerequisite, I'd be, well, I don't know. I'd see my human body for all the incredible things it does. And I'd thank my fingers for being able to rub the sleep from my eyes and my belly for holding my bacon and eggs and my feet for keeping me upright even when I didn't feel good. And then maybe I'd go to bed without red marks across my back and I'd think about the ways my body took care of me that day. And maybe I'd even feel good.